How's it feel to be back? Uh, it feels good. Um, I've been waiting. You know, I've been waiting, uh, watching games, and uh, it feels wonderful being back. Best thing, best fun. When you were, when you missed a little bit of time before, you said you were able to kind of look at some films, see some spots that you weren't, you know, taking advantage of before. Were you able to kind of do that again the second time out? Yes, sir. Uh, I just went back to what I do. Uh, if an unfortunate, like an injury happens, uh, you know, you got to make the best of it. And uh, a lot of film and uh, just watching the game and uh, taking the speed and seeing the tempo and uh, the change of paces. Uh, I pay attention to all that because uh, my game is basically evolves around change of uh, pace. Um, I change my pace so much, and um, that's why I'm so good with the ball. But, um, yeah. Silas was talking before the game today about how you turned a corner defensively this season. He said he sent you a, a clip yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain what, what that clip was and, and how you think that you kind of proven yourself on that under the floor? Um, yeah, the clip was just me. Uh, I switched. Uh, I was on ball. I played uh, really good. He tried to reject it. Uh, I got back. I recovered. And then I switched, and uh, I stayed on the ball. And, uh, yeah, it was a big defensive stop to, to lower us to a win. So it was tough. Uh, I think it was against Charlotte, I want to say. Um, but it was still. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you take away from how they executed down the stretch that you can kind of learn from? Uh, Lakers? Yes. Um, yeah, they're, they're, uh, Tom, we gotta speak on it. They got, uh, Bron, um, Russ and AD and all the high caliber guys that we all looked up to, at least my age, you know, I'm 21. So we've seen these guys in their prime and, um, we knew it's going to be a battle and, uh, we knew that we was, we wanted to use our youth, uh, for our advantage and run and, um, and run them, run them up and down the floor and, uh, tire them out a little bit. But like you said, it comes down to execution and, uh, they executed a lot, definitely could take um, the fourth quarter those last couple of minutes and uh, apply it to our uh, strategy. Are you ever amazed at LeBron at this age playing the way that you guys played that he's still able to maintain and play at such a high level late games? Yeah. Um, anyone that's in this league, uh, you can't, you can't not, you know what I'm saying? Like, LeBron is LeBron. Uh, when he's in the, when he's in, in the area or in the space, you'll know. You just feel it. Um, everyone around him knows. And, um, yeah, playing against Brian is, I love playing against Brian because he's the best in the world. You know, he's the face of the league. So why not? Why, why wouldn't I accept that challenge? I love basketball and I love to compete. You had that last three that you drilled right in front of LeBron and it looked like you kind of flexed on him a little bit, had some words for him. What's that like to just be able to have that kind of go back and forth with him in a moment like that? Um, it's dope, man. Like, it's dope. Uh, just for him to acknowledge it. And I look back and laugh or, or talk some, some stuff to me back. And, um, that's dope to me. Like that, I feed off of that. You know, people talk, you know, it's a part of the game, but some people shut down and some people get fuel off of it. And I'm just one of the people that get fuel. So a little, I, I'm definitely going to be talking a lot more. Um, but it was dope, like having that moment and that back and forth with Brown for sure. Jalen talked about feeding off of your energy, you know, and how you guys are able to kind of play off each other. Do you feel that you're really starting to build and develop that chemistry? You both went for 20 plus tonight, so. Uh, yeah, uh, we was out, um, not fortunate, but fortunate we was out together and, uh, it gave us time to work with each other and, uh, see what spots it, and for me as a point guard, you know, find out the spots, uh, where he likes coming off to shoot it, uh, off the one, two, and if it's left or right side, um, Things like that. When I drive, him being in the uh, field spot. So when I do my pivot return, I mean, my uh, reverse pivot, I see him on the album. I got to look. I just know he's right there. And our chemistry, as you can see tonight, it has been way better. And um, it's going to continue to get better. We're both young. We're both dynamic. We got C. Wood in the back uh, to hold it down. So, yeah, sure. What have you been able to observe just from the sidelines these last few games about the, the team's defense as a whole? Um, we took a we took a step back defensively. Uh, we came in we came in wanting to be a defensive team, and we we still are. We still are a defensive team, and um, it definitely took strides down. But uh, it's still 50, 60 more games left to play, and um, we can easily turn that back around because we showed it. We show uh, we're capable of being a very um, def good defending team. And uh, the thing about us is just consistency. Like we showed too many flashes. We, we showed the team that we can be, especially in that seven and zero run. And, um, we just got to be that team.
as you kind of turn the corner defensively yourself, um, are you are you able to kind of take that leadership and kind of have a vocal, vocal response to the rest of the team, kind of have that expectation of them to also put their best for, put forward defensively since that's what you're able to do on the floor now? Yeah, um, it took me a minute to learn uh, the spots on uh, defense um, regarding the help. But uh, on ball, I've always I've always been good when I wanted to. Uh, but this is the first year I, I took uh, pride in defense to a, a, like a whole nother level. And um, I just want my guys to have that same energy. Like we get, but we get a lot of uh, energy from David uh, Waba. And um, like you see tonight, uh, he did he did good job disrupting Brian and uh, making it hard for him, making him uh, more of a playmaker than uh, dominating the game. And um, I want to be basically like David, uh, be a, a energy um, on the defensive side with my with my on ball, with my help rotations, but vocal, uh, more so vocally, uh, communicate uh, where the low man's supposed to be, the switches, and uh, if if I don't hear the switch, then I'm gonna call it for them, like things like that. Uh, just having my boys back because I know he got mine. So we'll take two from Zoom. Holly Johnny. Hey, Kevin. Uh, there was a moment before the game where you went up to LeBron, uh, gave him a hug before the, before the tip and after the game, you met up with him and you had a brief conversation with him. Can you share with us if you, if, if you're able to kind of what you guys talked about or what your relationship is like with him? You're talking, uh, before or after? Well, a after you had the, uh, the actual conversation after the game. Oh, um, yeah, Bron, uh, Bron's a big, a big brother to me, like, he he always pays attention to basketball. So like he seen me uh when I was in high school, college growing up and uh he gave me a shout, uh gave me words of confidence, I mean uh words of uh encouragement and that was definitely a confidence uh booster for me. And uh from then uh he always just checked in. Um every time I see him it was always love. And um yeah, we just mutually have a lot of people in the circle together and uh that kind of brought us together as well and I I just Take it upon myself being, um, a, at the time, being someone I wanted to be in the NBA, um, to be able to talk to Brian, like you can't take that for granted. And, um, I'm playing against him now. So it was a full circle. It's dope. Last, mm -hmm. last question back, Alex. Hey, hey, Kevin. Hey, so tonight I talked to Coach Bears and he said that he loved the maturity the life so far. What can you say to him about? Him saying that comment to you about how he loves your maturity as a player in the league so far. I'm sorry, can you repeat the last uh, line? I, he said he says he loves he's loved your maturity inside the NBA with the Rockets. There's something you can't hear. Yeah, I can't. You said coach, coach. You said, oh, no, can you hear me? Coach you what? Fizz. What oh, Fizz. Fizz. Yeah, he said yeah, he uh, loves your maturity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Um. Yeah. He was one of the people, like, when I was, you know, going through whatever, whatnot, he was one of the people that really um, praised me and uh, believed that, that I could turn that corner. And uh, that's basically what he was relating to. Uh, we just, this is our first time that we was, could have a, you know, a quick one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, he just told me um, that he's, uh, he admires um, that I was able to do that 180 and um, to continue to grow and uh, mature as a person and a player. And um, that was dope that he even remembered me and uh, remember my story. And I got all the love for him, for sure. He a dope dude. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. All right.